What's your camera? Yeah, I have a little YouTube channel, so if I find something cool, I put it on there. All right. Yeah, so this will be on there. Hello. <laughs> So you got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. What are you asking on the cords? What are you asking on the cords? Dollar a piece. Dollar a piece. Yeah. Awesome. So we got fifteen there, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Plus three, fifteen. Fifteen. Cool. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you have any more of these by chance? At home. Okay. I probably got four or five hundred of them. Really? Yeah. Holy cow, man. That's brother, crazy. My brother drives a semi truck. Uh huh. Everything that's overstocked, he gives me. Wow. Yeah, I got VCRs, TVs. Are they new? Or are they. Not, never out of the box. Okay. I mean, can I give you my number? I definitely am I'm interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, young man? All right. Getting her done. <laughs> Do you work for Pepsi or something? My husband did for 40 years. Wow. You That's got a lot of cool 40 stuff. 40 years worth of stuff. Yeah, you got a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> 25. <laughs> Would you do four for 20 if I bought four of them? You had six a piece, that'd make them five a piece. I bought 22 instead okay. of 24. That works. Okay. But it, it never just works. You said six on that, you got change? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, because I'll have to get a new frame. That one's gotcha. looking, looking a little rough. Okay, I appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. I'm sick of one. Right. <laughs> have a good one. How you doing? All right. Got a lot of hats. <laughs> They're a buck, please. Okay. These are 50 cents. Okay. Dusty, they've been in my garage. Right. I don't think they ever been in. Grab this one. I got two hats for me, sir. Oh, it's okay. I got a cart. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. What you got on that one, man? Dollar. Everything on this side is a dollar. Okay, cool. Is your camera for sale? Yes. Can I look at it? Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good, man. What are you asking on it, sir? Uh, for that one, 30 bucks. 30 bucks? For everything. For everything? Is it Nikon? Yeah. Yeah. Nikon lenses. Uh, nice. Yeah, I'll do that. Too bad I didn't see that. <laughs> Yes, I will. What's your camera? Yeah, I have a little YouTube channel, so if I find something cool, I put it on there. All right. Yeah, so this will be on there. Hello. <laughs> well, thank well, you. It's, it's cool. It, you got a, you know, one, two, yeah, three. Yeah, there's, there's a good amount of stuff in there. Four. Damn. Five lenses. Yeah, for sure. You know. Good deal, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. What'd you ask on your hats, man? Dollar a piece. Dollar a piece. Oh, nothing in Probably nothing Tough from the 2000s. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It's a pretty sweet Nike hoodie. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I saw someone at the bar wearing it and I was like, where'd you buy that? So I went to the mall where he said they bought it and really? bought it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I love the high bid. Yeah. You guys strictly uh, flea market or you do like online or anything like that? No, I mean, I've got a lot of old stuff, man. I've never really, this is the first time I've even set up since okay. a long time. Uh, I used to set up with my dad. He's a big antique guy. Okay. Um, but I've thought about getting into my sneakers and all that and selling a bunch of stuff but I just never had man. And yeah. That's how my sent me this and I like, okay. But he's trying to tell me like look at it from this one they first picked out. <clears throat> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good deal, man. Ooh. Check out your shirts over there too. Yeah, for sure. There's a couple in there. I didn't bring much of the the t-shirts. Okay. You got like vintage might... ones or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. No, okay. those are all old. Uh, cool. I'll check them out. My dad this. printed some of them. We used to have a screen printing business. Nice. There's a couple in there. Yeah. What are you asking the shirts? Uh, two bucks. Two bucks a piece. Thank you. I'm Thanks, sure those brother. did well, right? Oh, well, he has. I'm um, because he's a big car a collector. Yeah, I have a little YouTube channel. Oh, if you want to you check it out, it's Vincent's Valuables. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. What, uh, yeah, do you got a card or anything? Or? No, I need to start bringing them. I'll text yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely. Here, take my card. I need cool. Art. Awesome. <laughs> Is this your, like, paintings and stuff like yeah. that? That's really cool. Thank you. 
So yeah. Uh, oh, that rips. No, it's all good. We'll fix it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, if you got, we if you have a lot of old, um, like t-shirts and stuff. Um, yeah. Like just all kinds of stacks. Uh, haven't dug into them. I need to get in the garage and get into them. It's my dad's Vincent's from what? Vincent's Valuables. Yeah. From um like late 70s to uh early 2000 i mean all the way up till now they've been on the car shows my dad kind of stopped buying you know t-shirts okay. at a certain time yeah, yeah i could always throw you my number and i buy and sell so okay i could I, you know if you want to liquidate cool yeah i'm right here in monroe so cool cool guys yeah uh text me and just let me know all right i appreciate man. it man yeah, thank, you. thank you guys i gave you two for that right yeah, you okay did. cool Is this your stuff? Yeah. What do you have on the pan? Uh, uh, give me eight. Eight? I'll do that. All right, guys, we made it back from the flea markets. Uh, today is a Sunday, and I was trying something new. I've never hit flea markets or any garage sales on a Sunday, uh, but I think I'm going to start because I did pretty well, and here in Monroe, we have two flea markets that are on the same street. So I just went to one, hit some sales, and then went to the next one, I hit some sales. I wasn't overly excited at first until I got home and I started doing some comping and I think we actually did really well and then we also made some connections that hopefully lead to more deals so yeah let's hop into it all right guys starting off with the new in the box stuff this guy had six of these Magnavox FM AM tuners I don't think they're anything crazy but we paid two dollars a piece and for vintage new old stock uh, radios you can't really go wrong and I said do you have any more of these he said that I have four or 500 more of these, which is pretty nuts. Um, I don't know what to think about those with that large of a supply. I feel like I would just flood the market at that point. Um, but he said that his brother does uh, shipping and that he gets any of the overstock stuff. So he has like new in the box VCRs and stuff like that. So we'll see what that leads to. He gave me his number. I've already texted him. So we will see. Um, Sirius XM, you guys saw in a video not too long ago, I did super well with the Sirius XM stuff, and I think the bulk of it has already sold. So this stuff is hot. I don't know why, um, but we paid a dollar for this, and I think they're going around the 30 to 40 mark. Same sale, we paid $2 for this light therapy acne mask. Probably turned that into like 25 30 Sony memory stick paid 2 bucks for this. Um, I don't know, 40 or 50 this Nikon bag, so this sale, he had this kind of sit in the back and I said, is that for sale? Because uh, I've been really doing well with vintage camera stuff lately. This stuff is hot. Um, it's a Nikon N2000. He said 30 bucks for the whole bag and I was like, yes. And there was a guy there that couldn't believe that I got that big of a deal. Um, he said, you know, if he saw it, he would have bought it too. And I don't blame him. Um, so if you guys don't know, the lenses are usually where the money's at. I mean, the bodies alone, uh, that, this one's probably worth 50, which is on the low end. Um, but this lens right here, that's like a $50 lens. And then these two, I think I could probably get like a hundred bucks a piece out of those. So definitely be on the lookout for name brand lenses. Um, but then you're going to find lenses like this that are off brand, which are basically worthless. Uh, you want to stick to the name brands like Nikon, Canon, that kind of stuff. So what I'll do is probably lot these crappy lenses with the camera body and then sell the lenses individually. Also had a Nikon eyepiece correction lens in there. I think that's 1520. And then we had two of these light exposure meters. I just tested them and they're working. Um, I'm not sure if you can lot up exposure meters, but these by themselves are not worth much, probably 10 bucks. So I don't know, lot them up for 20, 25, but we'll see. We got a snap on mug. This mug, we could probably turn $6 into like 25, 30 ish. Uh, these things are selling in pairs brand new for like over $100, which is pretty nuts. So we will see. Magnolite, if you guys don't know, Magnolite is a super good brand to look out for when it comes to kitchenware. Uh, this is 4682, the model number. Um, this is something that I still keep my eye out for and has always been valuable, uh, at least when I've been reselling, but I don't keep my eye out for, uh, like the copper clad bottom pans anymore. What is that called? Revere wear. I have so much of that just sitting around and it's not moving. It used to be hot, but this is a brand that has stayed hot. So get to know it. Wagner wear Magnolite. 
got a bunch of hats today um, at the first table we saw hats at this person said that her husband was a pepsi dealer for 40 years and she was definitely marking this stuff up i picked up some hats i don't know how well i'll do on those i paid 22 dollars for the four of those so we'll see um, i know script hats are really hot right now so hopefully that has some value uh, but then I found another booth, and this is where another possible connection could stem from. Um, they saw that I had a GoPro. I told them what I do, gave them my number. They texted me right away, which is a really good sign. They texted me, like, immediately. So we will see. Um, but, yeah, just some hats. Hopefully I'm popping cops up on the screen while I'm panning over these. Um, but, yeah, probably not anything too insane, but for a dollar a piece, I couldn't really go wrong. Um, if you guys don't know, this shark tooth design is super desirable right now, so keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Um, with hats, I also like to keep an eye out for, like, Made in USA. Um, the strap, that adds some value to a lot of these hats. Pretty cool UC hat right there. I graduated from there. And then a snap-on hat, so we'll see. This person took, like... 15 minutes to test this thing for me it was kind of annoying he said 10 or 15 bucks on these and i said i just couldn't do that on untested stuff so he's like oh well we'll test it but he had to wait on his son he was only a couple minutes away but you know 15 minutes later we got this thing tested and to my surprise it is working so i guess it was worth the wait we turned 10 dollars into probably 50 bucks plus shipping and then there was this thing that I bought for myself. I just thought it was really cool looking. I paid $10 for it and I'm probably gonna have to get a new frame. This one's pretty beat up and just not not great looking but I just thought it looked cool. I always forget about clothing when I put it over here but at the same booth that I got all those hats for a dollar a piece they had some shirts out but he said that he has a ton at home that he hasn't put out and he hasn't even gone through. A bunch of vintage ones and uh, I mean he charged me two bucks for this so their price is just right and it seems like they're just wanting to move stuff they don't sell online and uh yeah that's why i gave him my number because i said i'm definitely interested in stuff like this but yeah if you guys don't know what i'm talking about single stitch right there that usually means that a shirt's vintage hey you gotta say bye to people don't leave yet don't all right guys well thank you so much for watching we really appreciate you olive wants to get to his birdies You getting them? But, yeah, like I was saying, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day.